All right, we are back. We are back for the first period here from the Tyson Event Center Gateway Arena. Well, let's just say both these teams have gone through rough times recently. Uh, both teams, well, yeah, both teams. Not really much Omaha, because, you know, they won, obviously, against Sioux Falls. Sioux Falls is, like, literally the worst team in the Western Conference. Literally, they've done, they've played bad. Sioux Falls, they lost 4-2 to two to Omaha. They lost 4-1. to one. But, you know, hopefully that's not the case here tonight. Um, we want to see an Omaha win. Uh, last time Omaha was here, they lost in overtime 4-3, to three, and that was um, opening night, too. So, All right, I hope you folks are ready for this first period of play. It's been two days since I've seen you guys, so... Alrighty, here we go! Listen to the crowd here! Oh my, Omaha wins the draw here. Taking it behind the nets, Connor McGinnis. McGinnis flips it right up the middle. Sioux City will get it. That's Nolan Krenzen. Krenzen with it. Floats it right back in front. And Mizailovic cannot get a handle on it after it went off Androlowitz, who's act who replaced the who replaced the Ethan Hyder. So yeah, they're gonna give Hyder a break. Well, mainly because he's not playing in this game. <laughs> That's why. Just give him some time to rest. Goaltenders always need rest. Here's Connor McGinnis. They have their, their, besides the coach, they have like literally the biggest job to do. Here's Joel Mata. He'll take it. Mata. Oh, and he fell. A penalty coming up. It's a delayed win. We've been having so many delayed penalties lately. It's freaking me out. Why don't you just call your penalty and then move on with it? Anyway, Sioux City's on the power play first. 55 seconds in. Let's see if they can capitalize. Let me get my pencil. I'm doing that very slowly because, you know, stuff falls apart whenever I reach, reach over to grab something. <laughs> Jack Judson's in the box. I knew I was forgetting someone on this sheet. <sighs> See, stuff gets... Nice clear by Omaha down ice. See, stuff stuff falls apart whenever I try to reach for something. See, I knew I was missing someone on my score sheet. Okay. Let's get back to the hockey game. First time doing play-by-play -play in this headset. Here's Ian Malcolmson on over Christian Jimenez. Jimenez shot stopped by Dobes. Rebound right in front. And Omaha takes it. Baskell clears it back down. Nolan Krenzen now will take it. Krenzen leaves it behind for Gabe Blanchard. Here's Blanchard. Leaves it for Passanen. Here's Tommy Passanen. Passes it over across. Josh Nixon flips it. Mizailovic up high. He recovers. At two goals Saturday night versus Tri-City. Gabe Blanchard over to Mizailovic. Here's Victor Mizailovic now with it. Mizailovic shot scores! Victor Mizailovic! It's an early 1-0 lead. And of course my headset fell off while the goal happened. A power play goal as well. Tad insult to injury. Kept it for about uh, 20 seconds and then shot 
and boom, it's a one nothing game. Yes, it was. I knew I was forgetting someone again. Yeah, what a way to start it off here for the Musketeers here tonight. Here comes Sioux City. They get it again. Ben Duran. Here's Duran on over. And Omaha misses it. Tommy passing in with it. Here's a shot and a stop by Dobbs. Speaking of goaltenders, Jakob Dobbs. Uh, he's starting out. He has a 5-2-1 and one record. 1 1.93 goals against average and a 0.93 save per 0.390 save percentage. Whoops, hold on. Get rid of... I don't... Alright, we'll check. Um, what, what I just saw there wasn't a... Ah, tonight's gonna be a fun night with my headset falling apart. That didn't look like a 1.93 goals against average with the 0.930 save percentage, but he only has one shutout. So, there's a shot save made by Jakob jo D Dobbs. <laughs> Here comes Alexander Campbell over across to Ross Minton. Minton, he'll clear it back in off the corner boards. Connor Andrelitz will save it. Luke Lamaster will pick it up. Here's Lamaster now. Tipped by Harrison and back in. Picked up by Connor McGinnis. Here comes McGinnis now with it. Picked up by Josh Nixon. Here's Nixon. Joel Mata with it. Mata. We'll take it now. Ro or Sutton on over. I almost had a... Almost yawn there. We'll try to avoid that. There's a shot by Logan Will and a stop by Connor Andrew. Let's here comes Sioux City with it on the breakaway off the boards and back in. And that'll be rolled in icing. First annual USHL Frosty Cup in Dallas. Yes, the NHL and the USHL have partnered up with the Cot with the uh, Winter Classic, something like that, and uh, they'll have the first ever Frosty Cup. So excited for that! It'll be on January 2nd and the 3rd. Green Bay will face Chicago in Dallas. The first game, though, will be Thursday in, I believe, the Dallas Stars practice facility. And then that Friday game at 5.30 will be at the Cotton Bowl. There's a shot save made, and a penalty is coming up. It'll be a tripping call, and it'll be against Sioux City. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Last, uh, This is the first USHL outdoor game since... I believe what did it say? I think it was Lincoln and Omaha, what played in TD Ameritrade Park, which is the home of the College World Series every year in Omaha. Except for this, Frosty Cups in a bigger facility. So, Tommy Passon is in for tripping. Faceoff is one. <clears throat> All the way out. Here comes Mc McGinnis on over across. Sorry, I'm like out of it right now. Here's Nine. No, it's Nine Hughes. You know why? Because Nine means no one like German, I think. Here's Nine House, or Nine Hughes, excuse me, firing in a shot and a stop by Connor Andrelitz. <laughs> Before I fall over the edge, I better stay right here. Anyway, face off will come to the left of Connor Andrew. It's face off is one. And right away the puck went out of play. That took what? Five seconds maybe? I don't know. But face off will come back now to the left of Connor Andrew. It's
face off will come to the left now uh i'm not going to say his name again because i've said it what like five times in the last three minutes so you know you've been watching Mus musketeers hockey all season you'll, you'll know what i'm talking about here's Jakob dobes now behind the net or dobes i think is how you pronounce it because you know it has little you know little like you know on jalapeno they they have the little thing over the end i think is what it was yeah it's over the s so i'm thinking it's pronounced dobes Here's Grant Anderson. Anderson firing! Scores! And this game is tied! And I knew it was in before they did. See, I knew it was in before all the Omaha fans knew it was in. Grant Anderson. But it was tipped in front by Alex Campbell. Man, two quick goals here to start it out. Victor Mazilovic on over across. Here comes Christian Jimenez. He'll clear it back in. There's now Bascal back in behind. Renwick up the middle. Here's Lawton back. Lawton back. Missed by Nolan Renwick. And it's going to be ruled off sides. Face off will come right in front of the penalty box. Er, no. Right in front of the Musketeer's bench. I, I wonder where my glasses are to my Halloween costume. I might need those now. <laughs> anyway, here's Ross Mitten at center. He'll pass it on over across. Picking up with Robbie Newton for Sioux City. Who got his first goal as a Musketeer Saturday night. That made it his seventh goal of the season. He has seven goals, six assists for 13. Oh! The puck stuck in! Was that a Robbie Newton tipped it in? Who I was just talking about? I think that was a weird goal, and they're switching goaltenders. After two goals, and Kyle McLennan will come in. Kyle McLennan, er. Holy crap on a cracker. Zach Plusinski will get it on over across. I didn't expect I didn't expect Oma I didn't expect Omaha to pull goaltenders that quickly. Anyway, Kyle McClellan. 61-183 from Fenton, Maryland. He has a 4-5-3 record with a 2.78 goals against average and a 0.903 save percentage with one shutout. Jakob Dobes' uh, save percentage and, well, his save percentage is going to drop and his goals against average is going to raise to about two at least. No, there's a shot by Neuendijk that got tipped right back into the corner. That went out to center. Here's Gabe Blanchard on over across to Luke Lamaster. Lamaster now with it. Harrison on over. Here's Neuendijk firing Blanchard and a stop by Kyle McClellan. They'll take a commercial break. I hope you'll be back with us right after this. And we welcome you back here to the Tyson Men Center Gateway Arena for tonight's matchup between the Omaha Lancers and the Sioux City Musketeers. Let's recap what happened right before we went to commercial break. It's already two to one, and we're not we're not even seven minutes into the game yet. That's how much both these teams suck. First of all, huh. 
Anyway, face-off will come to the right of Kyle McClellan. Three, I would say, close to 4,000 people here, if not that. And add uh, noise, noise is with the thunder sticks, so. I need to get my moms and then bring them back up here. Here comes that and why Lucal Master now on over across 1303 left to play here in this first Sioux City leads two to nothing or two to one excuse me even though I wish it was two nothing there's a shot saved by Andrew it's and then Sioux City takes it that was Josh Nixon well he yacked it away but now it's back out at center Pascal over across toss tipped in and the Musketeers benching out of play. Face off, I would assume, come right in front of, like, around the Omaha bench or something like that. Oh, okay, center ice. I was, I knew it had to be one of the, I knew it would either be in front of the Omaha bench or at center ice. But, you know, I had a 50-50 shot. Normally, I write at 50-50 chances, but that time I wasn't, so. I'm good usually at 50-50, so. Okay, I just want to be sure my microphone was off. Because I think that was the problem. My mic was off. That's why you couldn't hear me. Here on a Saturday night. Anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's Ben Duran now. Duran, he had nice moves, but then he got the puck right out of him. Here's Ben Duran now. Duran on over. Christian Jimenez shot. Blockered into the corner. Here's Ray Christie, out, Crenzen, off the boards, Robbie Newton on over. And now Omaha takes it out to center, man. This game get, has gotten me hyped up so far. Here's a pass on over. Victor Mazilovic with it. Jimenez on over across. Lipped all the way back down. Christian Berger with it. Finally, puck is poked loose. On over. Here's Ryan Lawton back. Two on one. Lawton back shot off the top of the glass. 11.25 left to play here in this first. And then Sioux City takes it. Here's Malcolmson. Malcolmson, as he gets hit by uh, Nolan Renwick, he got rid of it. Here's Sammy Antonucci now. Antonucci still in a scramble for it. That one out to center. See, so City has it now. Ian Mount or Victor Mazilovic, excuse me, flips it off the glass. Almost went out of play down there. That one's tipped by Kotze and back down. Andrelitz will flip it back in behind. Tipped down by Joel Mata. Mata on over. Here's Josh Nixon. Shot! McClellan pokes it back into the corner. And now Omaha takes it. That's Sutton. And he is drilled by Blanchard. Back in behind. 10.25 left to play here in this first. Sioux City's up 2-1. to one. Josh Nixon flip, flips it back down. Zach Plusinski, a former musketeer, has it. Defenseman. Now out to center. Christian Jimenez on over. Here's Ethan Harrison now. Harrison firing McClellan with the stop. Trying to knock it down was Connor McGinnis. And McClellan finally covers it up. Face off will come to the left now of Kyle McClellan. We're down to 958. Face off's one. I don't know why I was looking at my camera for the time, but <laughs> that's the time stamp. That's not the right time slot we need. Here's Victor Mazilovic now. Mazilovic on over Christian Jimenez. Jimenez on over. 
right up the middle, Antonucci. Here comes Malcolmson. Malcolmson poke checked by Omaha. That was Grant Anderson. Picking it up was Jack Jensen at center. And passing it now, picks it up. Omaha takes it. Here's a shot, Say went just wide from Jack Randall. Out, here's Hilson Dyger firing one just wide. Omaha takes it, that was Ridley, er, no, not <laughs> Excuse me, I don't know why I said Ridley. <laughs> but that wasn't where the puck was. That was Ross Mitten. Or Luke Mobley, excuse me. That That's who that was. No, I didn't forget Luke Mobley, did I? Anyway, <laughs> I just realized I forgot to put Luke Mobley down on my sheet here. That's okay, though. No wonder why I didn't know who he was. Alexander Campbell now with it. Ross Mitten. Mitten tipped right back out front. I mean, I made this yesterday, so I was kind of in a rush to make it. Delayed penalty coming up. Jeez, we had so many delayed penalties Saturday night. Anyway, we'll take a break. We'll be back after this.